probably the first interesting mark that somebody made on the ground in the sand was a circle. Probably somebody took a forked stick and inscribed a circle in the sand. So let's assume that that's the first shape anybody made. When Giotto did that, he got the whole world applauding. I, it's a throwaway, all right? <laughs> but what it does in its vertical sides, horizontal top and bottom, what it does describe is a square. So everything starts with a combination of the square or the circle. And one of the most important rectangles that man has discovered is something called a phi rectangle. Catherine, where are my calipers? They're not here. Please. If we take the square and we divide it in half, and we take the diagonal of the half. I jokingly alert people to the fact that this week I'm having a sale on this, this secret instrument for only $35, $35 plus tax. You could, you could own one yourself. But this, this is how the Egyptians did everything knotted ropes, three, four, five, was a triangle, and the triangle was also a golden section triangle. Thank you very much. Yeah, these are important, thank you. So here we have this, and as I say, they are on sale, if you're interested. So if I take this distance and I bring it down, I get a phi rectangle. And this caliper is on the phi ratio. And were I to hold this up and put this on the top of my head and this at my feet, this would locate my navel. I'm not going to show you that. <laughs> but trust me, that's what it would locate. And if I bring this to my hand, all of the knuckles in my hand fall on these ratios. So this is the phi ratio. And if I open this, it falls perfectly. Do you see it? And if I bring the Baroque diagonal into this, and I run this up, I hit both of these divisions again. So all of these will break down. Do you see it? Just about everything will on these calipers. Which means that artists don't generate the complete geometry every time they want to use the golden section. They simply pull out their calipers and do what they wish. <laughs>